Wash Two. It's your boy SMTD Jersey here. I know I said I was gonna not play this game for story time, but I decided I am. Um. Now, today's story. Okay, we're back on track with the whole work stories. Okay, so. The first one I want to talk about is how, well, basically the, basically a ride almost fell down, right? Okay, so we was working there, and you know, at amusement parks, you know, they're kind of strict, like, on rules. If something happens, amusement parks usually try to, like, either cover it up or fix it in a very short amount of time. So, no, it never it didn't say in any of the like the news channels, the weather reports, or anything that it was gonna rain today. But you know, working there, you kind of just have that slight hope of Jesus that it that it rains every day. Because if you rain, if it rained, you got out really early, like almost a whole three hours early, right? You'd go from working, let's say three to eleven to three to seven like as soon as it starts raining they pretty much close it because the way they close the way they closed it the way that they would close it is if like is if attendance would drop below like 500 in population like if only 500 people were there they would close it so that so you know it it was always great when it rained because you never had to it also sucked because you never really got paid for the week. You would wonder why your paycheck was looking kind of thin. But you also got paid two extra hours. So if it closed at seven and you were supposed to work at nine, you got paid the same amount that you would if you worked until nine, which is which was always fun. So this day is about closing time. On Saturdays we didn't we didn't close till like eleven. So I was pretty much staffed until ten because I, I was a minor. So they had me staffed till 10. Now, we were there and then it started sprinkling raining at like 9.30. And I was like, oh yes, I had my Chick-fil-A gift card and everything. I was ready to go, right? Actually, it might've been a little earlier. I'll have to check my messages. It might've been eight o'clock. I think Chick-fil-A closes at nine or 10. It might close at 10. But all I know is I had it and I was ready, prepared fully mentally prepared it starts raining and you know you know how it rains man. sometimes it sometimes it'll sprinkle sometimes it'll like full-on torrential downpour i kid you not it sprinkled for maybe 30 seconds and as soon as it was done sprinkling it started coming down now i was working the best game in the entire part that day which is three point challenge which you know, if you may, it's the challenge, it's the challenge if you've been to an amusement park, usually they'll have it, uh, and it'll be like, oh yeah, if you hit every single shot, you can get an Xbox One or a PS4. Now the legend about that is that there's been some NBA players that has, that have done it, that have legitimately not won, which is kind of sad, to be honest with you, that, that, that would make me want to quit, like, playing in the NBA like that's how I feel I would want to quit there we go um but I was working there that, that place had a heater that that game had a heater so I always liked working there because it was always cold because I, I did most of my work in the winter um but you know it, it's right next to the sight seeker ride I forgot what it's called I think it's called the wind seeker or something like that no, Wind Seeker is, is these little swings. Uh, we Honestly, when you go there, we kind of just call it American Flag because that's what it has on it. I don't know if, I, I legitimately don't know if anyone even knows what the ride is actually called, to be honest. But, you know, it's right next to that. And it has cables. And I didn't pay, I wasn't paying attention because I had the mic and the headset on. Because for games people, we kind of had to talk and like sell sell pe people stuff basically. Like you, you kind of get what I'm talking about. Like 
I had to sell my game, and then I had to sell the merch people. Like, I had to be like, aw, oh, dang, I messed up. I'd be like, like, yo, um, you know, Chick-fil-A has chicken nuggets and <laughs> fries. That's basically what I was doing the whole time. But, um, I always, I always had the headset on because I had to listen in to, uh, my manager telling me, like, giving me cues of when I should say stuff. Because it was like my, what, I think it was my fourth day on the job. Once you, once you make it past your first week, you don't, you don't get that anymore. But I was only on my fourth day, so I still had it. But the thing is, is about it is, is that uh, it's kind of noise canceling. You really can almost pretty much, unless they're right in front of you, you can't really hear it. And the thing was loud. It was actually legitimately coming through the, the headset. I just didn't know what the noise was at the time. But the cables, because it was really windy, the cables were smacking each other. The cables were legitimately smacking each other. And luckily, the dude, the rides dude that was working there, um, he noticed fast enough so he got everyone off the ride and canceled and shut down the ride which is which was a plus on his job he shut down the ride like pretty much immediately um but once they shut down a ride they have to test it to see if it'll even open for like the next week because if it messes up they don't open it they will not open it for legitimately the rest of the week pretty much so they got everyone off and they went to do test rides, which is n nobody's on the ride. Um, nobody's on the ride. And nobody's on the ride and uh, they just send it up, send it back down. Now, when they went up, I swear to everybody and their mama heard it. There was a loud snap, like just, just out of nowhere, legitimately out of nowhere. And my manager looks at me and he said, or he came from the back. He said, I promise you, one of the cables broke from the back side, the side that I couldn't see. And he basically just said, go home because he couldn't, he couldn't let me stay there. But, but when I mean to tell you, it was leaning, like the actual ride itself was pretty much leaning. Like, obviously it makes sense though, but it was leaning. The side that's cable wasn't broke was higher was a little bit higher than the other and then on the way down it switched it switched the one that did have the cable broke was high but it came down way too fast pretty much anything that could go wrong with a ride happened to that one ride but they shut down the park for two whole days because they were trying to fix it and they didn't want anyone to be there while they were trying to fix it and honestly Honestly, I probably sh probably would have never realized it if my manager wouldn't have said anything to me. Like the guy that was working there, he noticed it, but he thought he's he had worked there before, and he said whenever it gets really windy, it'll they'll smack against each other, but they they they've never popped. But yeah, so everyone was sent home at about I, I it was eight it was eight everyone was sent home about eight, and it was. Honestly, honestly, it was kind of scary, low key. Like, I don't know, I don't know how I could even imagine that thing falling down. That thing is super dull. But, um, we've been popping off lately. I just wanted to state this. It's been a while since I've done like a legitimate story time Saturday. The rest have been kind of scripted. Um,. Like, I've been forced to pretty much talk about things, but we have been popping off lately. My Thursday videos and Friday vid videos, which is War of AFC North and Face the Franchise Fridays, have been popping off with literally yesterday's getting, at the current time that I'm recording this, 140 views, which is insane. But they average like 60, 70. So, like, I would very much appreciate it to all the people that are sub that are listening in on this video to watch the other videos as well because those ones don't get as they don't they don't do as hot. 
but or if you don't like those videos just tell me that you don't like those videos um we got a couple more weeks of Rafael Johnson's videos uh with with just 2k audio because it was like I recorded like four hours of that um, without changing, without even thinking about changing the audio, I I know everything else should be fine. I don't know, I don't know if everything after the four hours is fine, but I'm pretty sure it is. So once that's done, then um, then you'll start hearing my raspy, or you'll start hearing Rafael Johnson's sweet melodic voice. And then um, Tuesday. Tuesday is supposed to be, um, well, every day is supposed to be, supposed to have Borderlands, but I kind of just, I do it whenever, like whenever I have time to edit. So like, that's why sometimes you see two Borderlands videos or you see a, a Borderlands video after the scheduled video. That's just because I, I, that was a, that was what I was playing at the time and I still have a lot of footage even though I barely even play anymore. Um, but Tuesday, Tuesday is whatever I play with the boys. So if I'm playing Borderlands, but we uh, like, then it will probably be a second episode of Borderlands, just not with the duo save, it'll be our trio save. But um, we kind of got back into playing Overwatch, so it might even be Overwatch. Uh, that's probably what it's gonna be. Cause we're probably gonna play Overwatch this weekend. And then I'll record it, edit it, throw it up. So then, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesdays is whatever I play with the boys. Wednesday is gonna be still Weird Wednesday, and y'all have been killing Weird Wednesday. Y'all have been killing it. Thursdays, Fridays, I'm not changing that for right now. And then y'all know it's Saturday and Sunday, and expect to see a very good video tomorrow. We're gonna be doing basically a Speculation Sunday podcast because this will be the first one that everyone will be in it, and it won't just be me. And that should be lit. So I'm out. P wait, wait a minute. I almost messed up. You know, you gotta like and subscribe to join the Spam Squad today and turn on the post notices, baby. Like, follow, and obey. And I'm out. Peace out.